Jared Deanda, and this is Snap-on Tools Great Garages. The sign says Detroit, but we're here in North Carolina to check out the facility that is Detroit Speed and Engineering. Now we're inside the building. I'm with Kyle Tucker. Kyle, how are we doing, bud? Good, Jared. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, no. Thank you for having us. We're at Detroit Speed, but we're in North Carolina. We started the company in Detroit and still manufacture a lot of parts in Detroit. Our stampings, our forgings, castings, but the weather's a lot better here in North Carolina. <laughs> and, you know, there's a lot of technology here in North Carolina with the race team, so it's a good fit for us. What are we going to see throughout this? Because you're a top to bottom shop. Yeah, we really are. You think of Detroit Speed, and, and most people think of the parts that we design and manufacture and ship out to dealers and our direct customers, but we're more than that. We also build custom cars here in our project shop, and we take a car in and a, and a dream and a rendering and try and make it happen, and these guys are the best. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's do it. So we're in the project shop here on this project. It's a cool 66 Chevy 2 that we're building for a customer out of Arizona. So we're going to build it for one lap of America and do some uh, road race tracks out in Arizona and Nevada. It'd be a street car, barely. What are we looking at here that Detroit Speed and Engineering fabricates? One of the flagship products for us as a company is this bolt-on front suspension. Stamped cross members, fabricated frame rails, so it can handle and perform like the best of cars today. As you can see, this is one of our flagship parts, our mini tub. It allows two more inches of tire and wheel to get up under the ground. Not only were we adding suspension and we're converting from a leaf spring to a four link with coilovers. So modern technology, modern suspension. Where would the vehicle go after here? It goes over to the body shop, so let me show you around. Yeah, please. On the other side of the wall now in the body shop and here the guys make them look beautiful. It goes through the prep station here, full body work, into the paint booth and then out for cut and polish. So all in-house. Something that we can control the quality, the timing and make tweaks along the way. This is a 1969 Dodge Charger called Mayhem. You may have seen it in the magazine or even on TV from yeah. SEMA but really special car that we built for a good customer of ours. Just anywhere you look there's details to it from the tuck bumpers to some of the billet pieces that we built on the car but to me it's all about function. You know it has an ABS brake system in it, traction control, Brembo brakes with carbon ceramic rotors. It's all Detroit speed underneath, but it's detail front to back. It's cool too that, that the customer wanted a vinyl top. Usually it's the first thing that goes on these cars, and I'm glad that he had the guts to stick it on there, and to me it's one of the neatest part of the cars. It's got the power, but it's got the comfort inside. The same thing with this one, Jared. The 70 Chevelle doesn't get any more American muscle car than this. Black with the white SS stripes. 427 with a 4 liter Whipple on top of a mast motor. Crazy horsepower, easy to drive, yeah. air conditioning, everything you can imagine in a yeah. car, it's in this too. All the proprietary little details, again, that nickel finish, even down to the wheels, but you're doing those grills in-house. All those little pieces that make up a Chevelle trim on the grill, laser scan that, machined it out of one piece of billet aluminum, and then sent it out and had it uh, plated with uh, brushed nickel plating. Well, that's that DSE touch, right? It is, cool. it's front to back, top to bottom. <laughs> All right, we're here with Eric Evans. How long have you been here at Detroit Speed? I've been at Detroit Speed for three years. Three years, and what do you do here? I do the wiring, the finish assembly, and all the tune on all the cars we build. You're kind of some of the last hands that actually touch the car. Yeah, I'm the last hands, and I also am usually the first guy gets to drive it. So that's pretty rad, you know, so. <laughs> what are some of the tools that you utilize on a daily basis here at Detroit Speed? I use a lot of hand tools. We use a lot of 12-point fasteners, so I got the whole setup of snap-on 12-point stuff. How, how critical are snap-on tools? Well, the main difference between like the junk stuff and the really nice snap-on stuff is the fit. We use tons of custom fasteners and a cheap socket, cheap wrench ruins a fastener. So you got to have the best or it looks like crap when you're done. Now we're in the product fabrication room. Hydroform frame rails come in from Detroit. Cross members are stamped and Jake's here welding all of it together. This is where it gets the real finite details. It does. These guys are experts. They weld all day long and they are awesome, awesome welders. Just on the other side of this wall is a very loud room. The CNC machine, you're machining a lot of parts. Yeah, that's a really busy area over there with the CNC equipment. We're machining all the components in-house now. So anything from bushings to ball joint pockets, castings that come in. So everything runs through the machine shop. Again, to control the quality and control the timing. Been through the machine shop to make some of the parts. We've welded some of the parts and now we're assembling. Quite a few components here and this is all done by hand. It is, you know, every part's tweaked and touched by hand and made here. We literally buy the, the nylock jam nut and the Zerk fitting and everything else we make. So it's a from scratch control arm. We're always working on a new product line and the newest product line for this year is the C3 Corvette. In fact, we've got Rusty Wallace's Corvette in the shop and doing some R&D on it right now. 
just seeing all the different pieces and manufacturing and sales and marketing team, but it comes from a very passionate place. I mean, this came from you wanting to be faster and you loving the hot run. I grew up racing, so it got me into this sport. I wanted to learn more about how to set a car up, how to drive. So yeah, that comes from within. And we have a hand-picked people here that are really awesome and, and performance-driven as well and passionate. That's how we develop our parts and market our parts here too. You talk about being a racer. Now, where are these race cars you speak of? Well, race cars are in a special place, Jared. We call it the DOS, What's Department the of Speed. Department of Speed. Well, let's go check it out. Let's do it. This is where the finished product is residing, and this car in particular. Now, this is kind of my tried and true 70 Camaro that we've used to develop all of our parts for the second gen Camaros and Firebirds. And whatever we learn on the weekends, we can come back and put right back into the product line next week. But what specifically is on this car? Really everything out of our catalog is into this car. Big bear brakes, a mast LS7 dry sump engine, so it has all the goodies and fun to drive. Well, I'm seeing a lot of Chevys around here, old, new, but I'm checking out this car over here. It looks like it is all American as they come. Yeah, that's our new 1972 Corvette, and it's our test bed for our new C3 Corvette parts. LS3 motor in this one, over 500 horsepower, and all of our new parts for the C3 Corvettes will offer later this year. Has this car seen the track yet? It spoiled us the first trip out. It won the first weekend, so, so far so good. It's uh, getting a lot of attention for the parts that we want to develop, but also market later as we go to production. So you are a technician here and a snap-on loyalist. I started in the assembly department building all the suspension parts. And now we're up here at the Department of Speed, is I think that's what it <laughs> calls it. Why do you choose snap-on tools as your tool of choice? When I first put them in my hand, felt good, works good, never lets me down. I love their, their ratchets, their sockets, their screwdrivers, everything they have to offer. Any big tool that's kind of your go-to tool that you utilize the most, even in the body shop or something like that? My snap-on DA. Your snap-on DA? Yeah. Right on, well look at that. Which we don't, I mean we don't use DA's a whole lot, but when you do need it, it's there and it, it, it's flawless. I don't know, I think your smile says it all. Thank you so much, Kyle, for having us. A beautiful facility, another one of Snap-on Tools, great garages. Thanks for watching. All right, let's fire this thing up. Let's go. Thanks for watching this episode of Snap-on Tools, Great Garages. For more episodes, click here. And for all things Snap-on, be sure to subscribe.